all atoms want to be like the noble gases. They want full valence shells. This desire leads us to the octet rule in covalent bonding. In covalent bonds, electron sharing usually occurs so that atoms attain the electron configurations of the noble gases. These hydrogen atoms want to be like the noble gas helium, which has two valence electrons, making a full valence shell. Uh, the crown isn't necessary. If they share each of their electrons, each hydrogen will feel as though it now has two electrons, making it feel like helium. These hydrogen atoms have formed a single covalent bond. Any two atoms held together by the sharing of a pair of electrons are joined by a single covalent bond. The two electrons in the middle of the hydrogen are lined up together and represent a shared pair of electrons of the covalent bond with two dots. You can also draw the structural formula, which uses a line to represent the shared pair of electrons. Let's look at another example. I'll choose the diatomic molecule fluorine. Fluorine's a halogen, column 17, which means that it has seven valence electrons. It wants to be like neon, which has eight valence electrons. So if the fluorines bond by sharing their unpaired electrons, they will each feel as though they have a full octet, like neon. Notice that there are lots of unshared pairs of electrons around fluorine. These are pairs of electrons that are not shared between atoms. They're not part of a covalent bond. They're also known as lone pairs or non-bonding pairs. Let's try another example. Ammonia has the formula of NH3. Nitrogen has five valence electrons, and each hydrogen has one. Each of those hydrogen wants to have two electrons like helium, and nitrogen wants to have eight electrons like neon. When they bond, each hydrogen feels as though it has two electrons. And the nitrogen feels as though it has eight, like neon. This is why it forms a stable compound. Sometimes atoms need to form more than one covalent bond. Atoms form double or triple covalent bonds if they can attain a noble gas structure by sharing two pairs or three pairs of electrons. Remember, single bonds share one pair of electrons. That's two electrons total. Double bonds share two pairs of electrons, four electrons total. And triple bonds share three pairs of electrons, six electrons total. Let's look at an example. Diatomic nitrogen will have a triple bond. Each nitrogen atom has five valence electrons. Those lone electrons are a hint that three bonds will be made, because they want to have eight electrons to be like neon. Those lonely electrons will form three bonds, creating a triple bond. This works because each nitrogen feels like it has eight valence electrons. You can also simplify this by drawing in lines to represent each pair, which helps you to see that this is a triple bond. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.